Hello, my name is Bernard Sfez and I'm a Tiki specialist. Today in this first tutorial, I will explain how to use the wiki syntax in Tiki. In this video, I'll describe quickly what is the wiki syntax. I'll show you how to use it in line or with the help of the toolbar buttons. Uh, I'll show you where is the help tips available in the edit mode. Uh, I'll give you an overview of the advanced usage of the wiki syntax. Uh, show you where is the editing and plugin control panel parameters. And finally, we'll create together a wiki page using what we've just learned. The wiki page feature in Tiki enables user to create an edit page on the internet without knowing code like HTML, JavaScript, or PHP. It's an exceptionally easy to use tool for creating and managing online teamwork and collaborative publication. The wiki page is the heart of the Tiki web application and it relies on the wiki syntax for the fast and optimized usage. By the way, it is very similar to the wiki markup that can be found at a well-known Wikipedia. So, let's start by a quick description of the wiki syntax. The wiki syntax includes most common formatting tools. They are easy to use right away to avoid the writer to be distracted while focusing on the story. The whole idea of such syntax or markup is to help editors to create a content and publish it as fast as possible by inserting directly styles and format while typing their content. In Tiki, it is also possible to use or set extensions and plugins on the fly. I'll show you how to use a few popular ones at the end of this tutorial. Most of Tiki's features integrate with wiki page feature, and wiki pages can be used as the main basic output to display any information coming from other features of Tiki. As an example, data structured or individual information from blogs, articles, forum, trackers, or calendar can be dynamically retrieved and displayed in a wiki page. I'll start with the Tiki freshly installed, and on the home page, I sign in as admin. This home page is the first wiki page you'll see after successfully creating your Tiki website. Tiki is totally configurable, and the buttons or menus location can be changed in my tutorials I always explain and demonstrate things based on the default Insta. To edit the home page, I click on the edit item that can be found in the actions menu at the top of your pages. This will display the same page in the editing mode and you can see tabs, a toolbar with several buttons, a text area, a description field and submin buttons. Let's delete everything so we start with the fresh content. On this blank page, to create a header, I type an exclamation mark and then the content of my title. If I want to create a bullet list for each of those lines, I add a star at the start of each of those lines. To view the result, I click on the preview button and this is it. It shows the syntax properly interpreted. Unlike what happened on a word processor like Microsoft Word on your desktop computer, I won't have to stop my typing to use my mouse to select text and press a button to apply a style. I can type content and style the same and therefore I'm not distracted while creating. Remembering some syntax is a small price for this level of efficiency. And I can also just use back the toolbar. Most of the buttons are easily identifiable. Also, if you place your cursor over a button, it will display a tooltip to help you. You can use those buttons directly on previously entered text. For example, let's type, this is my wiki syntax example. Now I select the text and click on the underline button. Voila, our text is now surrounded by the proper syntax. And again, I check by clicking on the preview. I can also place the cursor anywhere inside a text area and click on a button to see the proper syntax. I click on the italic button and see this text with two single quotes. So now we understand that you can type directly, quote, quote, the text you want in italic and again, quote, quote, to tell Tiki where the style ends. Let's preview. And again, all good. Same for all the formatting button. 
strike through, color text, heading, alignment, horizontal rule, etc. Some buttons may also require more information. Using the toolbar, let's add a link to an external website to complete the demonstration. I need to fill a text field for the text that will be displayed and the URL field to insert the link 2.2. I leave the relation empty for now. Preview. Done. There are many, many other comments, but you understand how it works now. A list of the available comments can be found using the L button on the right side of the toolbar. The Edit Help is divided in two tabs. One tab for the wiki syntax and one for the wiki plugin help to enhance your content. Everything is there and you can see a long list of available comments. A quick look to the second tab will reveal several dozen of Tiki plugins available out of the box. Well, I guess I will do a specific tutorial for Tiki plugins and for this video I'll just pick one to do the quick demo. Let's use the quote plugin. I click on the quote plugin icon, it opens a dialog so I can set it. I put my name on the reply to, any URL source will do, I add a date and then type in the body area the text I want to be quoted. Save and it displays a quote on my wiki page. Another important piece of this feature is the editing and plugin admin control panel where you can turn on and off dozens of options and enable more advanced plugins or simply disable some if you don't want your editors to use them. Now to conclude, let me show you how I can compose quickly a page. Let's pretend I need a header, some italic text just under it, another section in a text box, an horizontal line, and then an image. Header, italic text, some text in a box, an horizontal line, and then let's upload a nice picture I took. Saving. And that's another great wiki page, published it in no time. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Please, if you found that video useful, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Publishing such video is a long process and take a lot of time. Show me you like it, show me some support. It will help me to continue investing in publishing other tutorials on Tiki. Comments are super welcome. Just be kind to help with constructive suggestion you may have about specific things like the content, the audio, the video format, and even my accent. Whatever disturbed you from learning or on the contrary, helped you. I hope to read good things. So, See you soon and enjoy the power of tea.